Hello kids. Today we solve third statement right true false. Students, first statement is round of 29 to nearest tens is 20. Let's see it is true or false. Now when we do rounding of nearest tens, look digit at ones place. If digit 4, 3, 2, 1 at ones place, no change in digit at tens place. If digit 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 at ones place, add a unit in digit at tens place. Dear students, here number is 29 and 9 is here. Now put 0 for 1's place. Here 9 at 1's place. So add a unit in digit at 10's place. So now here 2. Now it's 3. Because here 1's place digit 9. So round of 29 to nearest tens it's 30. So A statement round of 29 to nearest 10 is 20. It's false. Students B statement is round of 870 to nearest hundreds is 900. Let's see it is true or false. Dear students, when we do round off to nearest hundreds, look at digit tens place. If digit 4, 3, 2, 1 at tens place, no change in digit at hundreds place. If digit 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 at tens place, add a unit in digit at hundreds place. Here number is 870 at tens place number is 7. Now we put 0 at ones place, 0 at tens place. Here number is 870 and 7 at tens place. So Add a unit in digit hundreds place. Now it is 8. Then become 9. When we do round of 870 to nearest hundreds is 900. So it is true. Yes friends. C statement is round of 56 to nearest tens is 50. Let's see it is true or false. When we do round off to the nearest tens, look digit at ones place. If digit 4, 3, 2, 1 at ones place, no change in digit at tens place. If digit 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 at ones place, add a unit in digit at tens place. Here number is 56 and 6 is here. Now put 0 for digit once and 6 is here. So add a unit in digit at tens place. It is 5. Now become it's 6. Now when we do round of 56 to nearest tens is 60. But statement is Round of 56 to nearest tens is 50. It's false. B statement is round of 789 to nearest tens is 780. Let's see it is true or false. Here number is 789. When we do round of to nearest tens, look at digit ones place. If 4, 3, 2, 1 at 1's place, no change in digit at 10's place. 
if digit 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, at was place, at a unit in digit at tens place. Here, 9 is at ones place. So, now we put 0 at ones place. Here, 9 at ones place. So, add a unit in digit at tens place. Now, it is 9. Then we see round of 789 to nearest tens is 790. But here statement is round of 789 to nearest tens is 780. So it is false. Here E statement is round of 951 to nearest hundreds is 1000. Let's see it is true or false. Dear students, when we do round off to nearest hundreds, look at digit at tens place. If digit 4, 3, 2, 1 at tens place, no change in digit at hundreds place. If digit 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 at tens place, at a unit in digit at hundreds place. Students, here number is 951. Digit 5 at tens place. So, now we put 0 at ones place. Put 0 at tens place. Here, digit 5 at tens place. So, add a unit in digit at hundreds place. Here, Digit 9, so it become 10. So when we do round of 951 to nearest hundreds is 1000. Here statement is round of 951 to nearest hundreds is 1000. So it is true. Students, write third statement from exercise 1.6 on your notebook and solve it like this. Dear students, at home practice third statement from exercise 1.6 on your notebook. Thank you.